Many important biomolecules are derived from amino acids. Tyrosine serves as a family of neurotransmitters known as catecholamine. First, tyrosine hydroxylase adds a hydroxyl group to tyrosine, converting it to DOPA. This reaction is coupled to the reduction of oxygen to water and also requires the cofactor tetrahydrobiopterin, abbreviated as BH4, which is oxidized to the hydrobiopterin, abbreviated as BH2. Next, aromatic amino acid decarboxylase removes the carboxyl group from DOPA producing carbon dioxide and dopamine. This reaction requires the cofactor paradoxal phosphate or PLP. Recall that PLP plays a huge role in amino acid metabolism, mostly in various amino transferases, which I talked about in my previous video on amino acid metabolism. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that plays a major role in our brain's reward system as well as motor control. The neurological disorder Parkinson's disease which affects the motor system is associated with an underproduction of dopamine, and it has traditionally been treated by administering L-DOPA. Dopamine can undergo hydroxylation at the beta carbon by dopamine beta hydroxylase, which is coupled to the reduction of oxygen to water and oxidation of scorbate to dehydroascorbate. The product norepinephrine, also known as noradrenaline, can be methylated by phenylethanolamine and methyltransferase to form epinephrine, also known as adrenaline with S-adenosylmethionine abbreviated as SAM as the donor of the methyl group. Both norepinephrine and epinephrine are hormones secreted by adrenal medulla in response to short-term stress. They are part of the sympathetic nervous system that plays a role in fight-or-flight response by increasing blood flow, dilating pupils, and other physiological effects. Norepinephrine also serves as a neurotransmitter that functions in alertness, arousal, and readiness for action. Dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine belong to a family of neurotransmitters called catecholamines. On the other hand, tryptophan can undergo hydroxylation by tryptophan hydroxylase to form 5-hydroxytryptophan. This reaction is analogous to tyrosine hydroxylase, which is coupled to the reduction of oxygen to water and the oxidation of tetrahydrobiopterin to dihydrobiopterin. 5-hydroxytryptophan can then undergo decarboxylation by PLP-dependent aromatic amino acid decarboxylase to form serotonin, which is a key neurotransmitter that plays a major role in modulating mood. Serotonin can be further converted to melatonin in two steps. First, serotonin and acetyltransferase, abbreviated as SNAT, transfers acetyl group from acetyl-CoA onto the amino group of serotonin, producing an acetyl serotonin, which is subsequently methylated by methyltransferase to produce melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone produced by the pineal gland at night to regulate the sleep-wake cycle. Tryptophan also serves as a precursor to the plant hormone indole-3-acetate, or auxin, which promotes plant elongation. Histidine can be decarboxylated by histidine decarboxylase to form histamine which also requires the cofactor paradoxal phosphate. Histamine plays an important role in vasodilation during inflammatory reaction, as well as serving as neurotransmitter that promotes wakefulness and homeostatic functions. Glutamate is the major excitatory neurotransmitter in our brain, and it can also undergo decarboxylation by PLP-dependent glutamate decarboxylase to form gamma-aminobutyrate, abbreviated as GABA, which is the major inhibitory neurotransmitter in our brain. The gaseous chemical signal nitric oxide is derived from arginine, catalyzed by nitric oxide synthase, which is coupled to the reduction of oxygen to water and oxidation of NADPH to NADP+, producing nitric oxide and citrulline, which is an intermediate of the urea cycle. Nitric oxide serves as a powerful vasodilator through the soluble guanylyl cyclase, which increases the concentration of cyclic GMP. Lastly, acetylcholine is derived from serine. First, serine decarboxylase converts serine to ethanolamine, which is subsequently converted to choline by three repeating steps of methyltransferases, with S-adenosylmethionine as the methyl donor. Choline acetyltransferase, abbreviated as CHAT, then condenses choline and acetyl-CoA to form acetylcholine, which is a chief neurotransmitter at the neuromuscular junction and the parasympathetic nervous system that promotes rest and digest. Besides chemical signals, some coenzymes are also derived from amino acids. Tryptophan can give rise to niacin or vitamin B3, which serves as a precursor to the coenzymes NAD and NADP. Cysteine can give rise to coenzyme A, which plays a role in oxidation of fatty acids and pyruvate. Lastly, glutamate can give rise to folate or vitamin B9, which plays a role in many 1-carbon transfer reactions. 
Many membrane lipids are derived from serine. Serine combines with palmitoyl CoA to form sphingolipids such as ganglioside, cerebrocytes, and sphingomyelin. Serine combines with CDP diacylglycerol to form phosphatidylserine, abbreviated as PS, catalyzed by phosphatidylserine synthase, abbreviated as PSS. Phosphatidylserine decarboxylase can convert phosphatidylserine to phosphatidylethanolamine, abbreviated as PE, which can be converted to phosphatidylcholine, abbreviated as PC, by three repeating steps of methyltransferases. Ethanolamine can also give rise to phosphatidylethanolamine, while choline can also give rise to phosphatidylcholine through the Kennedy pathway. Phosphatidylserine, phosphatidylethanolamine, and phosphatidylcholine are some of the phospholipids that make up our cell membrane. More details about membrane lipid biosynthesis will be covered in a future video. Polyamines are synthesized from the urea cycle intermediate ornithine. First, the PLP-dependent enzyme ornithine decarboxylase converts ornithine to petrucine, which combines with decarboxylated acetanocylmethionine to form decarboxylated acetanocylhomocysteine, as well as spermidine, catalyzed by propylaminotransferase 1, abbreviated as PAT1. PAT2 converts spermidine to spermine. Spermidine and spermine are known as polyamines that play a role in DNA packaging. Trimethylysine can give rise to carnitine in a series of steps. Carnitine is important in transporting fatty acyl-CoA from the cytosol into the mitochondrial matrix for fatty acid oxidation. Creatine is derived from glycine and arginine. First, amidinyl transferase condenses glycine with arginine to form ornithine and guanidinyl acetate, which is subsequently methylated to form creatine. At rest, muscle tissues can store excess ATP in creatine by converting it to phosphocreatine, catalyzed by creatine synthase. During bursts of heavy activity, the same enzyme regenerates ATP from ADP by converting phosphocreatine to creatine. Therefore, creatine serves as an ATP buffer in muscle tissues. Glutathione is derived from glutamate, cysteine, and glycine. First, gamma glutamyl cysteine synthase condenses glutamate with cysteine to form a dipeptide which condenses with glycine to form reduced glutathione. Both condensation reactions require the hydrolysis of ATP to ADP and inorganic phosphate. Glutathione plays an important role as an antioxidant against the highly reactive hydrogen peroxide, which I've covered in my video titled Biological Oxidation and Reduction. Note that many pathways I've covered so far require the methyl donor as the methionine, which is derived from methionine by methionine adenosyl transferase. Therefore, methionine also serves as a precursor to epinephrine, melatonin, phosphatidylcholine, polyamines, and creatine. Heme, the coordinated complex that binds oxygen in hemoglobin and myoglobin, is derived from glycine. First, glycine condenses with succinyl-CoA to form delta-aminolevulinate which undergoes a series of six reactions to form protoporphyrin, the organic component of heme. Protoporphyrin conjugates with iron cation to form heme by ferrochelatase. Heme is incorporated as hemoglobin in red blood cells and functions in transporting oxygen between lungs and body tissues. Heme gives the blood its red color. Dying red blood cells can be degraded to heme. Heme oxygenase then converts heme to biliverdin, which releases carbon monoxide and free iron cation. Next, biliverdin reductase reduces biliverdin to bilirubin, which is coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. Biliverdin and bilirubin are responsible to the change in color of bruises, which changes from initial dark purple to the green color of biliverdin and the yellow color of bilirubin. Bilirubin is largely insoluble and it travels in the bloodstream as a complex with serum albumin. In the liver, bilirubin is transformed into the biopigment bilirubin diglucuronide, which is water-soluble and combines with bile salts and fats to form bile. Bile is stored in the gallbladder and secreted to small intestine to emulsify lipid. Primary bile acids are synthesized from cholesterol in the liver. In the intestines, primary bile acids are conjugated with Taurine or glycine residues to form secondary bile acids, which are the major bile salts. Taurine is synthesized from cysteine in a few steps. Bilirubin is ultimately degraded to the colorless urobilinogen by microbial enzymes in the intestine. Some urobilinogen is reabsorbed into the blood and transported to kidney, where it is converted to urobilin, the compound that gives urine its yellow color. Microbes in the intestine converts the remaining urobilinogen into stercobilin, which gives species the red-brown color.